Davis. I fucks with yeah, those I do heavy. Too. I, I do. Like, I I I don't even think. What wait? What brand are those? Nikes. Nikes. <laughs> wait, no, Nikes on uh, my I've, feet. Obviously, listen. I know they're the seven. What are they? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nice, nice, nice phone. Nice whoever. phone alarm. Not me. Can't relate. I can't relate. Must be it nice. Must be nice that you're. Anyway, Nick, I have good news. You just missed within the next, right there. Within the next week, within the next week, <laughs> the second Super 73 is going to be. Can you fucking mute, can you mute that? Is it hard to do? <laughs> it's monster squats. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't hear back in 15 seconds. Duos? <laughs> he takes it up twice. But, but, but in, in, in that dude's defense, like how many times do you think someone monster. needs to tweet or text Nick for it, Nick to <laughs> arise? I don't think you guys Today understand I don't get yeah. service. What is it? Yeah. Jack, Jack and I had a whole conversation this morning about who's going to Yo, you Nick. talked to Nick this morning? Lamau. No. <laughs> Can you call him? I didn't answer my text. Listen. I'm this. not going to lie. I woke up at 10 and I was like, I was really trying to think a way to to not get come. out of this <laughs> i was like hmm. what happens every time we have to come here for all you? i can text does that happen every time you wake up <laughs> just I'm just like it depends what? what i have to do what can i do to not do anything i feel like i, I don't even like, want to do that i feel like if nick wants to have a productive day he needs to like wake up and not in his bed so for example when he wakes up in his bed you don't see nick online to stream yeah he sleeps in his dx racer wakes up he's already at a setup <laughs> nick's live he's gonna stream yeah. that day I believe it's the only way he's productive. Warming up. Like yeah. Warming up for 15 hours. <laughs> there you go. People like actually talk shit to me about that. They're like, you're seriously still warming up? I'm like, it's obviously a joke. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like not really a joke. <laughs> 15 hours. Uh, or sorry, 15 hours. I said. He's uh, second in the world in squad kills for season five. Already? Who was first? Like, bro, if I'm I was, Cody's if friend. I was, if I was as good Pill, as. I'm Cody's friend. Wow. Yeah, for real? On console. Yeah. You know, throughout the throughout the years of You're being a content first, creator, You're throughout first. the years of being a content creator, and I've been doing YouTube videos since two thousand and seven. Throughout the years, I always said something along the lines of like, if I was only better at this game, I'd be the I'd be the biggest YouTuber ever. And <laughs> and if I was a little bit funnier, I'd be the fucking for sure the the best YouTuber <laughs> yeah. ever. Um What's up? What's up? Hey, 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 the my my turtle my turtle beach people are here. Uh, Nick, let me fi- let me finish, and then Jack has something to tell us to get this podcast started on the right foot. But uh, Nick, within the next week, I am going to have the second Super Seventy Three that you can come to the crib and ride around with me. the The electrical bike. Okay. Yeah. You s- and yeah. and <laughs> and if you, sh- I, was, I mean, what what's a good thing to tell him to do? I'll, I'll buy you one for Christmas. If what? what? Yeah, I don't know. What, what should we make them do? If you upload every, if you upload a video every single day in the month of mm, August, I'll buy you um, the 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 Rose Avenue electrical bike so you can go buy your food and shit. And I'll customize it so you can have like a basket in it. And I'll buy you a little <laughs> bell so you can be ring ring. That actually really? is an elite deal. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's a promise. A prom- yeah, it's on the it's on, it's on here. It's on the podcast, dude. You know what we should do this year too. Sounds like a bet I might take. <laughs> yeah, bro, no, it's not really a bet. All I can do is win. Yeah, there's no bet. It's just, it's, it's not even a bet. It's just me rewarding you for. Bose too. Bose, if you're watching, if you upload every single day <laughs> in the month of uh, oh, no, yeah. well, you already do that. <laughs> I get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a bike? Can I get a bike? Uh, you too can get a bike. Anyway. Uh, I was yeah. actually looking at them the other day online. Yeah. Because uh, I watched a video about them. I watched a video about the guy who owns the company and yada, yada, and saw their production facility like in California. Yeah. Um, and it was about like Post Malone's $20,000, $25,000 gold, gold plated one. They gave it to him at uh, Coachella. Yeah, and Jesse uh, Wells. Uh, so I went on the website, Lawrence. looked him up, and I was looking at all the models. And I was like, I should text Hector to see what model he has. I look at my clock on my phone. It's like 3.36 in the morning. I'm like, I'll talk to him when I see him. <laughs> Dude, if anyone ever texts me at those, like in, in that, like after three, and I wake up and I'm not able to go back to sleep, it's their ass. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not, I wasn't, it's, it's their ass. I wasn't messing with it. But you want me to talk about what I was going to bring up? No. Okay. Let's just talk about Fortnite for the 
16th podcast. We can't get away from it. I mean, like, look, I, I tweeted about it, how that, that uh, in the World Cup, that French player did the L dance. You can't get away from it. And people shouldn't be mad at the fact that we talk about it. But let, let's leave it there and then go on. What's up? So I was hey, playing me. Fortnite <laughs> um, with uh, Tim the Tapman, uh, Marcel, a.k.a. basically I do work, and uh, at Ninja. And we were discussing making an R&B Fortnite music album where mm-hmm. like all the songs are, yeah. uh, you know, Fortnite related in some way. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, they've done all the, the rap songs and stuff like that yeah. in, or the rap, uh, like, for example, like the Paul brothers did all those music videos last year that helped skyrocket them to fame. Rice gum with the reply, you know? Um, and I feel like, I don't remember the guy Bryce I, but he used to be popular, like with like the end of the halo days. Yeah. I remember him because in halo three, he was given, Recon armor, which only Bungie employees were allowed to have, yeah. but they gave it to him because of his songs and stuff he did for the game. Yeah, but he made like music for video games, and I feel like that was like ahead of its time. Yeah, well, no, it wasn't. Um, or like, well, or hasn't been acted on again. That I feel like if someone made really good music for games about the games that was actually fire, yeah, people would want to listen to it. Well, uh, let me follow up with. Uh, his voice sounds like that because he's been screaming. He's not sick. Oh, I'm not sick. No, I just been and and that's been it. it yes, one thousand percent. You should not not only should they said a good idea, but you should do it as soon as possible. I'm gonna give you a story of a young man whose name was Pros. Don't talk shit. You guys remember that YouTuber? No. no. Well, this YouTuber was dared by C Nanners to change his name to Captain Sparkles. This guy did. He created a whole bunch of music videos for Minecraft, and the rest is fucking history. Dude. I'm talking about TNT. Uh, that's wild. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, and, and and it did. It it blew up. Uh, what was it? Something something. Uh, Minecraft style. Was it Minecraft style that he did? It was Gangnam style, but the remake. I don't know if it was Minecraft style or or something along those lines. But that had like a billion views. Right, just one YouTuber. He did the the TNT. I, I fling my arrows in the air. Oh, I think I've seen that. that. Yeah. yeah. Everyone has seen them. Okay. That's that's how that's how good it is. So, yeah, that's that's one of the things. You if you want to be successful on anything that uh, on, on, on Fortnite, um, hard work and also go back to see what every single uh, successful Minecrafter has, has done yeah. in terms of content and redo it. Um, because I think that that was like one of the main reasons. I mean, Captain Sparkles was always a good content creator, but nothing blew him up, in my opinion. I mean, obviously he he, he knows best because he did it. But from an outsider's perspective, uh, I think it was the music that that really like threw him over the edge and playing the most popular game at the time, which was Minecraft. It was like brought up as like for fun, but then like as we put more th- more more thought into it and like fake made up some songs and like, God, this would be an absolute blast. You want me to tell you another story? It's this one's a sad one. Okay. It's a it's a story of missed opportunity. Oh, here we okay. go. Okay. I remember we were at uh, at 1235 McAlpin. Okay. Walked upstairs. Knocked on <laughs> knocked on the door. It was this locked. Gonna piss you off. Okay. So I walked down the hall towards <laughs> Pomage's room, but instead of opening Pomage's door, I slid <laughs> two <laughs> two bathroom doors. I said I said this on my stream of why I hated that house and that's the reason. That, <laughs> that bathroom door, sliding bathroom door. I feel like I was, was the only one. I was the only one that could do it. And he wouldn't piss him off. He would be like, he'd see me. I'd be like, what's up, man? He'd be like, yeah. but everybody else, I imagine could just tell. every every day I would walk in with a fucking camera because oh, I was at the peak oh, he height hated of my vlogging. You. I'm like, God, get your ass up. He hated you. Yeah. Well, how do you think I felt? I'm trying to make not, my probably not n- anywhere near how he felt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, but anyways, what? <laughs> but anyways, I walk in and I'm like, Nick, right now, make a fucking beat, right? Fucking write the lyrics for Seth. Fucking make a music video, right? He's like, all right, all right, all right. We wait a month and then. All that blew up. All the, all the. Uh, oh, that is true. All the, all the Jake Paul the stuff. YouTube, yeah, the YouTuber rappers that yeah. all blew up. Like within, like that month after of me walking in there, we even wrote out a business plan as to what, like how we were gonna, what he, how he was supposed to to go along doing that. But music being, I think the biggest vertical in in YouTube is is, is music, gaming, and then everything yeah. else, right? Yeah, it's it's the perfect marriage. If you're doing the top two things that are the most popular in this thing, I mean, think think about how many. Was it platinum? These rice gum got. Yeah, yeah. bro. 
He's first. I think the first YouTuber that's gone platinum. Yeah, bro, think that's about that. Crazy. That's <laughs> fucking insane. That's why anybody look. And, and I understand like that, that that he's a little bit controversial, and a lot of people from the community have have always given him like some people have given him a heart. I fucking don't give a shit. I'm fucking like yeah. mad hype that somebody was able to accomplish that. Yeah. Like just because he fucking did it, you know he he and and then not only that but created the sort of movement within YouTube that it's just it's so. I'm kind of torn right now on what, like, because those people like Rice Gum or, or like Banks or or, or uh, you know different people like that, like they they're not grinders as, per se as far as like they upload every single day, or they stream every single day. Mm-hmm. They just they sit back, they figure something out that they want to do, and they work on it, and then when it comes out, it blows up. Yeah, and it's like that's dude wasn't a fucking Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, like if you hate that was it, nice. if you hate at that point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're a fucking hate. Yeah. You know what exactly, I'm saying? Because yeah. there's been people in I actually know there hasn't, but like if if I hated somebody and I saw them be that fucking successful, I'd be like, damn, <laughs> I'm the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's me. Exactly. Yeah. But obviously they're doing something right. They're they're doing that. Sorry, right, this one's on me. Yeah. Yeah. No, hundred percent. Um no, I I love stuff like that. And 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 I wanted to do for so long a when I had joined Optic originally, when, like when Formal was still around, I wanted to do a Formal diss track with me and then Country Greg Legion. Yeah, and I diss track Formal because he always had that beef yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, except when I'm trying to diss him, I like correct myself and realizing that he's just cooler than me in every way. Yeah, <laughs> and like it becomes like a self diss, so it's like less of a diss track on him. What's the episode of a diss? A um, prop, like props. Wait, sorry, what? A pro- uh, uh, props track. Uh, yeah, you should do oh, a props oh, yeah. track, but something like that, like t- something corny. Um. But then we brought it up yesterday. We played with uh, Dylan Francis, and he's like, "Yeah, I want to help work. Out. Like, I want to be part of that too." Yeah. And we, when we were play, originally playing, uh, Ninja was like, "Bro, I'm sure Mello would love to." Imagine if we do like an like a, a yeah. like an album with there's, like, a, there's no need to imagine one it. song with Marshmello. We said we want to do an EDM R and B. Yeah. First ever EDM R and B song. So it's like sensual. And like I don't know where it's like. Come on over. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> yes. and that Bro. would be the highest quali- quality of audio, yeah. period. Yeah. Because they're professional. I would, that was the, that that was the would biggest issue with, with Nick making music is that he didn't want to do it because... I was so self-conscious. Yeah, you were super about self-conscious it. about like the quality of everything. But I feel like people just want to hear stuff get put out. Like, yeah, that's what I, just I want to that's hear, what would say. I love a, a, a story of seeing someone improve when they work hard on something and put something out. For example... I doubt Wheats is ever going to see this, but Wheats put out a, a a clip of a song that I think he made. I put it in my blog. He said it was, it was uh, train something about a train with Pamaj, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But or Pam, I don't know what Pam did. I think Pam in the like beat, inspired him to do it or something. But either way, he put it out. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it was sorry. something like a train. It, it was train something, and I put it, it in was my incredible. blog. Yeah, I it was really good. Really good. It was really good. Blog. Yeah, and like I, that was so awesome to see. That was so much fun to watch. Like, listen, it was just a what, thirty second listen or something like that. Yeah, so good. I hate. Yeah, that was dope. There I uh, look. I I I often joke. It's not a joke, but that, that I'm like eighty percent good at everything that I do. But I've never been like that ninety um, to hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That that it takes for you to be like to stand out from everybody else. And I feel like that on, on like all the all the, like my friend graffiti writers that I've been around that I like learned from. Because everything comes so easy to them, like I don't know, it's it's hard to explain because it's like yeah. so many layers of things. But I don't know if you guys remember me like sitting there and telling you guys like I'm like you know how hard it is to do this line. I'll never be able to do this line. Uh, I could never do this like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that like that sort of even the ones that what were we looking at when you did that? Yeah, the the turtle wax thing that Omens did. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like. You know, it's like I'm like it, it, and it fucking pains me, and it pains me even more when one of them says, "Is like, man, I fucking hate graffiti," but he's so fucking good at it that I'm just like, Jesus. I mean, that was me when I wanted to go like pro in Halo. It was like, I would, I mean, I was, I've been a fan of Nick for over like a for like a decade now, you know, yeah. and, and all, all, everything started. I feel like, I feel like Davis and I are almost in a similar spot in regards to console kind of competition, like yeah. if we like where we got to, yeah. I kind of hit like the same ceiling area. Like yeah. I remember wanted to be pro. It's so bad at Halo, um, and 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 then Call of Duty, uh, and it was like eighty uh, percent, as you said. It was like that final twenty percent that was what separates everyone. You know? Yeah, it is. Um, and then and within even that, to Fortnite, it's even more, yeah. Fortnite for the same. If there's one thing, if I had to pick one thing for myself that I think I'm actually you know at the top echelon, and it's just 
public speaking slash entertain like enter, like being able to just yeah entertain on a dime is like the one thing that I'm like that was natural for me. People are like, how did you get so good at public speaking? How did you get how, how are you confident in casting from like even my first cast? I was yeah. like, I don't. I it's you a can put me in a room of ten thousand people. I do not get nervous. Yeah, I no, don't. I don't. Yeah. I can't I, relate. I, yeah, I, I can't relate at all. Really, I, I, I cannot public speak like that. I did. I I can public. speak. I can probably speak okay if I get comfortable. I mean, remember yeah. the one time I did? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do didn't, you remember? It? <laughs> didn't go so well. Do you Fuck remember Fuego Cloud Duty? Are you going this year? Yes. Come on. After we have I, uh, to follow it up. What are you talking about? I I I, I think I want to see if uh, I can go with my parents and stuff. I mean, I got nominated for streamer of the year. I'm d- Vote for me, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd probably be pretty mad if Ninja didn't win. Um, but still want to take the trip out. Yeah, you should. You going? It's, what is he saying? I yeah, I am. Come on, we have to. Go. <laughs> the thing is, is like it's if we go, I don't want to go for two days. Like we usually, we yeah. take like when when we went for. You want to go for a long time? Usually, like, like when we days? went when Seth got when Seth got got nominated. Who, who did you come? Or it was no, me, Pamaj, well, and Seth? It was Pamaj, Seth, and I. <laughs> we we left on a Saturday night, and we were back on a Monday morning. No, I want like to go we were there for, for twenty, the gnarliest twenty four hours of my life. My dad, my dad's never been, so I want to go. I want to bring, have my mom and dad go too, and stay for like four, four days. Yeah, uh, and then because I've been to London five times for Gfinity, I've never, I've never sightseed, gone sightseeing in London. We walked. We, did you Do you like rain? No, you can sightsee a lot of like rain and like oh. <laughs> clouds, <laughs> like clouds. <laughs> like, bro, do you like bad food? Because that's where you fucking oh, go. Oh, get that's you a, a nice thing, right? bad breakfast. Do you England, like beans? The for worst. Breakfast? Bro, the worst. <laughs> get a real. <laughs> have you ever had a real apple juice? <laughs> it's made of apples, bro. It is disgusting. <laughs> okay, get you some McAllisters, and now we're fucking talking. Yeah. Uh, Eng- England is the worst food though in all of Europe. It 100%. is. It, yeah. It's funny because. I stream like a lot of the times my stream schedule is from like 9 p.m. to like 7 a.m. So, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really <laughs> doing things with my life. So in that time frame, I actually have a lot of European viewers because obviously it's, yep. it's I get like way more viewers consistently at that time. Same. So anyway, um, it's always like kind of a j- I joke back and forth with them. And I'm just like, so what are you guys going to like fix your breakfast? Like, is there a patch coming? Or- <laughs> <laughs> An update. I, I will yeah. say this. Take out the mushrooms and take out the tomato and don't and the have. Beans. No, well, the beans just. With the, and the bacon. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the, 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 the beans is what, what we have in similar. Like Mexican breakfast is uh, not breakfast. Like coffee the trash too? No, it was yeah, the apple coffee. juice, bro. No, the thing is, is they have real like organic food. <laughs> yeah, the- like their apples are like this big. The, 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 what how God made them okay before we genetically altered them for before we ever. American I yeah. want all my food to be on steroids Same. yeah well well this yeah point. yeah I mean it has to be yeah because otherwise well, like what how do we get fat that's why everybody's so thin over there because they've been eating terribly mm. they probably see breakfast and they're like eh. <laughs> see and the thing is, is there's nobody say, they also don't have cars <laughs> I don't know why I don't know why I thought that would they are getting funny. roasted <laughs> no not, and it's bad because people are gonna people watched the podcast last week and then I kept getting tweets and it was like wow like Hitch is so stupid like console players are so much better like console players are actually good and you know of course I would be like well I was joking about everything like of course console yeah. players but then I was like, no, actually, console players are trash. But the the thing with uh, this is that you know there's gonna be European people that are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, oh my god. I'm six percent English, so it's friendly fire for me. Same. I'm I'm white. I'm at this point. <laughs> at this point, Hector's at this point, Hector's two hundred fourteen percent of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Across, I'm like, I'm nine percent Albanian. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I'm I, have a card. I have a card. Georgian. It's, it's, it's my go-to. You I have, have a right. card hey, for hey, everything. Hey, I have a fucking card. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I had, I had an uncle that was, that was just like, man, man. Just fucking leave it there. Uh, but anyway, so, so yeah, the 80% thing is, is what pisses me off because once you get to that 90% of being good at everything, that's how you wrap it up, bring it in circular motion, and then we're there. Yeah. Anyway. How do we even – oh, yeah, so we all have to go. If you go, Nick has to go. Which means I have to go. Well, here's the thing: it's no. It's, Hex has to go. This year, Rogers this year it's a. This year it's not the same like week as the COD launch. 
like it normally is. Oh, I forgot. COD launches about a month that. early, so it's like a month after COD, you'll grind all that. That's why I'm like, I'm not worried about a game launch during it, anything like that. Um, That's true. I, I'm like, I, I actually do want to really, you know, enjoy the trip. <laughs> you know, there's still people in the like a vocal minority of people in the COD community that still thinks that you turned your back on the whole scene. Oh no, I see some of the I yeah. see a couple no, of Reddit comments. Oh no, and it's no, 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 and it's not people don't even upload them. They got, I, there's, oh, there's yeah, like yeah. two people. They've got like every time they post it, it's like negative like 150 yeah, 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 downloads. Yeah. Like people will be like, "What are you saying?" Yeah, I'm saying that it's not like a popular opinion, but there no, are no. people that there's this one guy that literally comments like this. It's it's a shame you guys can't see Jack is a scum of earth. He's a money whore. No, no, this guy literally. I'm pretty sure if I saw him like in real life would try to stab me. That's how much it's crazy. It, I got it you. Seems back. crazy, and it's just crazy that people and it, I kind of like try to analyze it. People are saying that about you because you went. You you went you stepped away from COD and you grinded personally and as paying off personally. But people didn't say that about Puckett. People didn't say that about Fwiz. People didn't say that about Mister X. They didn't say that about Gandhi. And it's like because they all went and worked for like businesses and stuff. And it's just I'm just like if you if you're gonna say that about Jack, like you gotta say that about you can't be a hypocrite. You gotta say that about everybody that left. COD. Everybody that he just mentioned I was like, what the fuck are you bringing me up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I'm, I'm saying is how ridiculous of a statement that is. Like, yeah. No, it, I mean, at, at the at the end of the day, they they there's no way possible that anybody can look at you and be like, "Fucking traitor!" Yeah, right. right. First of all, he's got a ten year old army. You know, he does I, charity work. I assume that they're trolling, and just Bro, want a reply. Literally, the top comment was, "You forgot the slash sarcasm at the end, like yeah, the slash yeah, yeah. s." And I was like, "Plus, I don't think people realize that you're not like you're getting to a point now where you're." your like audience is is so big and such like a courageous fan that whenever you throw on a black ops 4 stream it's going to boost the black ops 4 numbers like my audience is uh, when i joined it was like 300,000 total followers in optic when i joined in, in march so those were basically only, almost exclusively call of duty and now my total following is 1.2 million so literally 75% of my fan base didn't even know me in cod yeah when i bring yeah. up maven for example they're like Who's Maven? Who's Maven? Yeah. Not That's only so that, wild. but think about think about how many people ask. He's like, how are you so good at, at casting? Or when you were playing with uh, with Shroud, they're like, wow, this guy's really good. You should consider casting. <laughs> and I was saying, like, remember that? Yep, yeah. I was getting like, this guy, this guy should be a caster on Shroud stream. And I was like, <laughs> I literally was like. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Uh, wild. I, I I've come to the re- to to realize because I couldn't say realization. It sounds <laughs> weird when I say it. I, I've come to the real re- see. Uh, I I've come to realize that. People are just gonna that not not people in general, but just that there's also three fucking jealous fucks yeah. that are always gonna just and, and 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 if you could take a pill to be able to ignore that, because <laughs> there's a lot of times where you know you you literally are just reading 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 and then all that's positive and then all of a sudden that little one little yeah. Have we? All right, let's move on. Fuck no, 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 I mean, no, 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 no. Fuck it, fuck it. We're not talking about that. Not right. on the podcast. I'm just saying in general. We talked about this like. Yeah. That is the, one of the poisons that everyone deals with in social media. It's like, yeah. bro, y- like yesterday I tuned into streams and, for example, uh, you know, some streamers I looked at and I knew going into my stream last night I was going to have low viewership than normal. And I looked at other streams and they were – most streams were at lower viewership than normal last night. Don't know why. Don't know what it was. Maybe it was so saturated. I mean everyone was How did streaming. you know though? I saw people who normally average oh, double my viewers have yeah. less than 2,000 viewers, like 2,000 less viewers than I average, mm-hmm. and they normally average close mm-hmm. to double my viewers. Uh, and, and I was like, okay, I know I know for a fact I'm going to click in this chat, and literally one of the first chat messages I see is going to say, wow, only yeah. 4K viewers, it's wow, crazy. only 3K viewers. Literally the first thing I click, and it was a subscriber of the streamer, only 3K viewers. I was like, man, like I, I don't stream with a view count open. Yeah. Ever, yeah. yeah, and granted, at times, is it does it help me add energy to my stream? Yeah, when people are like twenty k viewers, Jack, what the hell? I'm like, okay, wow, I'm, I'm gonna, this is nuts. But bro, like, I t- like, ooh, I just, I just knew, and it, I just, I don't know if this goes on that topic, but it's just something yeah. that tilts me. It's like, yeah. just watch the stream. Don't tell the streamer that yeah. their subs are going down or that they don't have viewers yeah. or this. Like, it just tilts them and puts the. Every streamer puts out a worse quality product. Ninja, when he stri- su- switches off Fortnite, has to put his stream in mode only mode, or else all the twelve year olds are going to be like forty cows. No offense to all those twelve year olds, but the majority of you guys are twelve year olds. <laughs> and if you happen to be a twenty two year old that's fucking typing twelve year old shit, 
you're a fucking loser. <laughs> like literally look in the mirror and then and then be honest with yourself and, and as you're brushing your teeth, be like, Why am I such a fucking loser? And that's where that's a good place to begin. Let them know. Self identification <laughs> is always going to be the best way of self improvement. Period. <laughs> like a week ago, I I just started my stream. I didn't tweet it out or anything. I had like seven, 70 viewers. And this dude was like, 70 viewers, maniac? Oh, my God, you're falling off. Ha, 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 fucking washed idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> like, that's just like mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just mean. like, why are you trying to shit on me like that? Yeah. Like, he's really trying to hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah. And it's fucking and working. It's fucking <laughs> working. <laughs> I, lately, I just talk talk shit back to yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I, that, I, all the time <laughs> all day long all day long some dude today told me that not to talk about politics i i, I favorited a, a politic or something about what was it? it was really funny and i favorite he's like hey hex i wouldn't you know i wouldn't uh i wouldn't tweet out political stuff is bad for pr and i was like <laughs> look, look look in the mirror right <laughs> and then look at who the fuck i am right <laughs> First of all, count how many years so you many have. So many people are mad right now. Yeah, count how many. Yeah. Be, how many? T- count how many. I'm 38 years old, bro. Okay, there's literally nothing. Like I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna be the way that I am. Yeah. Like, there's literally nothing that a stranger you could ever say. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a, yeah. sure? Period. Like, if you my, got two if, more years, if, maybe you'll change. If my friends, okay, if my you friends, two more years. if my friends, cut off. my friends, my team, my peers, don't have that sort of influence. You think like a complete stranger, like is that, yeah. I was like, come on, man, real self realization, man. Like, be that's what people say. Like whenever I tweet something that's even a little bit of an opinion, like oh my god, it's just like I pe- think people you love it though. Well, the thing is, oh, you're I, I, to I, mean, I, I I like putting my opinion out there, yeah, for sure. But I don't like when people say stay in your lane. Like what, bitch? My yeah. lane. If it's my opinion, it's my lane. Like Dude. I'm not. I'm not. Ex- I'm not saying I'm a. I, I've never once said I'm a professional at this. I know everything. I, it's just like I'll say, "Hey, I think that's kind of stupid," and the people are like, "Stay in your lane, you, you curly headed freak." Yeah. It's like, okay, they got you on the okay. game. That's right. Yeah, I mean, it, the the, the it thing actually there, the thing there though, and, and it's like, <laughs> it's I, I hate when people are like, the, where, where, where people, where people tell me, like, don't talk about basketball. It's like, <laughs> like, it's like what? It's like, do, have, have you watched one match? Of football or soccer the entire fucking year. Why yeah. do you have an opinion? Because I fucking can. Because I can. Not only yeah. that, not only that, but I bet you that in my younger years, when I was eight, when I was when I was able to run for a long time, <laughs> I was a better athlete than you. Period. Yeah. Look at my stroke when I'm shooting the ball. Fire. Okay. Seriously. Don't talk to me about fucking basketball. Don't give me. I can't have an opinion. So people, yeah. It pisses me off, bro. It's it's funny because people will be like, uh. Uh, Hitch, who's, who's your favorite basketball team? I'm like, oh, I don't really watch basketball, and then and then everybody just like, you, ow, like you'll like you'll. I just imagine people's faces on Twitter just thinking back to all my LeBron tweets yeah. and just they just like steam <laughs> starts coming out of their, <laughs> their ears. eyes. Are like they're just like, uh, they're like, like how like, can he? <laughs> I've even met like dinner that night, like at the family table, like like slam. <laughs> Just pissed off. Just like, like, how can like, he like, talk? Uh, about honey, 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 why aren't you eating your peas? And he drops the fork on the. He drops the fork on the plate. For, he's like, he's just so mad. He's like, and then drops the the fork on the plate to make the loudest noise. That shit just makes me so happy because it's just, it's just you're so passionate about like in reality nothing. Like, yeah. So I think this would be uh, if if we were if we were you know up with the with the kids and and the and the slang nowadays. This would be called like. Uh, spitting the tea or or, or or something about tea. This spilling, is like spilling, spilling tea. tea. Spilling tea. Right now we're spilling tea. That what? that is it, right? I think Hopefully. So. What are you talking about? We're spilling tea right now. We're spitting just, knowledge. We're spitting we're spitting, you know, stuff that would be like is like sassy, like you guys you guys are this is annoying. This is annoying. That's called spilling tea in the YouTube slash Huh. I learn something new every day. There's high so, school culture from what I'm I just seen. learned I think what we're just full, shitting on the haters. I learned what full send means the oh. other day like oh, oh, two days ago playing with playing with tim that's he says that every time he goes to take a snipe yeah i'm sending it he, tim is so good at going away from his mic to make his oh voice for dude he's so the he's like, best i'm sending it and next thing you know all i hear is this well they know we're here now because he didn't get the mouth <laughs> and then you hear and then you hear nothing because he and missed nothing. oh yeah he missed i saw the snipe shots you were you were taking off that, clip, that was uh, wild mm, mm. This is magnifico. So this so is good. a sneep oh. magnifico so if i do go to uh to london 
uh, for the IGAs. I think that I might have my family meet me there after the IGAs, and then we're going to go take Olivia to... Where does she want to go? She wants to see something. We could have a double family trip. You get, like I said. You met my dad. Yeah. I, I mean, I would. I, I, I think it, it'd be cool. But where, were you, you walked with us, right? Word. With me, Dan, and Ken from our hotel in France all the way yeah. to yeah, the yeah. Eiffel Tower. And, uh, and Nick. Nick, you were there too? No, Turtle Beach. Oh, Nick. yeah, Turtle Beach, Nick. Yeah, Bro, yeah. we walked our ass. How, like, it was literally like a good 10 miles of walking. Yeah, it was wild. Why? Because we wanted we, to tour. We took the uh, we took the subway at one point, yeah. And then Dude, Dan we took had the Tourette's. Subway? Oh, right, never mind. I can't say that. No story. offense to to Tourette's, to people who have Tourette's, but Dan, Dan, our agent, uh, <laughs> he's he's got this thing where I don't know. He doesn't he doesn't have an internal voice. Okay, so anytime he, we, we were sitting, I was sitting next, I was sitting, I was standing next to to Hitch. Dan was sitting by himself, and anytime somebody said something in French, he would repeat it. So right. it'd be like I don't know French, but it'd be like voulez-vous, and, then, and then he'd be like voulez-vous, <laughs> and I'd be like I, I was looking, I'm like yo, Dan, shut the fuck up, bro, like <laughs> like what are you doing? And then I look at Ken, Ken's uh, the other agent. I'm like Ken, I'm like you, fucking tell him to shut the fuck up. Like, Do you remember that? No, I don't. Yeah. I remember on the subway one time, you were uh, like everybody's like holds onto those poles, and Hex was holding onto a pole, and I was holding onto another one, and there was a lady that was holding on to the same pole Hex was. And she was sitting right there, like her face was like right next to his face, but she was looking the other way. And Hex goes, "Yo, yo, Hitch." And I look up. He was like, "You think she speaks English?" <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you did. No, dude, it was fucking. And I, I like, you know how I get in, in public situations, yeah. especially when you're. Well, being I, that I didn't way. say it that loud, though, did I? There's no way. Yes. No, yes. There's no way. No, it was like very off. Op- like do I believe. And and we were in like no, a, I would never. I'm 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 like but socially. It, no, you are not. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. I'm shy and stuff. Yeah. Right. And, and just and and me, I'm, I'm just like as soon as he says it, I'm just like, I just put my head down. Bro, that I I don't remember that. I don't think I like I don't see myself doing that. But Jude last week walks into my office and she's like, some ladies just complained about you to me, and I was, like, I was like, what the. F- Fuck. Uh, like, here we go. Time, here we go. I was like, "Time out. What are you talking about?" She's like, "Yeah, some of the people in the neighborhood were complaining about you, or they complain about you to me." And I was like, "How? Yeah. Like, well, I've never had any interaction." And then she's like, "Apparently, when you were walking Henry, and I was like, oh, uh, I was like, oh my god." So my interaction with them was like a positive one from my point of view. <laughs> Theirs was not. <laughs> this one lady wasn't. So what happened was that I was walking Henry, the 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 biggest boy of them all, also the yeah. friendliest boy of them all, and uh, I was walking and he interacted with their dog, which was a big uh, like German Shepherd or something, and and the the dog, very very good dog, and I was gonna make a joke about like the dog was cowering away behind his owner when he when he he or she saw Henry. Kind of was, but it wasn't cowarding. He just didn't know Henry. Anyway, I'm like, I'm like, oh no, don't worry. He's a, he's a nice boy, and you know the whole nine. And and I don't know what may have triggered that lady to have a bad experience with that interaction. But I remember, like, being nice to everybody in that group. The husband, the the other couple that was there, and then they were petting Henry. And I was like, oh yeah, no, he's nice. He's super nice. He's 193 pounds, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah. blah, blah. But apparently, and I don't walk dogs. That's Jude. Jude loves dogs. Apparently. As a dog mom, you don't like it when, you know, I guess I said, oh, I wonder why your dog is doing that. Because my dog is really nice with and, and he's, you know, I was, I, I guess I called her dog socially fucking awkward. Okay. <laughs> and she got offended. And then like weeks later, she complains to Jude about it. And I'm like, man, I cannot believe it. Because I, I, I go it's out of my way. Also, one of those people that has too much time on their hands. Yeah. And like. They've been thinking about that for too they, long. They need. They she's needs. into like the neighborhood gossip. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, she's the one who like reports a car that's uh, like been there for ten minutes. It's not normally there. Or <laughs> now, I know, you know who I am and what I dress like and how I look, right? So, I, in in my neighborhood, I do the 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 best thing possible to make sure that people the people that <laughs> I'm a friendly I'm I'm a friendly one. Do you okay. give them yeah. one of the yeah, every time, every time when I'm driving, when I'm driving, I always wave to everyone. Ever since I moved there, when I drive, I wave to everyone. Good morning, you know, out, out the window, the, the the whole nine. 
Uh, and then the lady also told my wife that uh, they said, yeah, he never waves at anyone. And I went, oh, baby, why don't you fucking, I mean, why don't you fucking ask her, prove it? Why don't you say prove it? <laughs> prove that she, how the fuck do you know that I never wave at anyone? This is my first interaction with you. Like, yeah, he never waves at anybody in the, in the, in the neighborhood. I'm what like, what the hell? Yeah. She said that? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to, I, 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 I feel like if, I feel like if I'm Jude in that situation, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's kind of a he's kind of a dick, but like he's a good like he's a like he's a, he's a good dick. <laughs> 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 then they would have really gotten mad. Oh my god! It was, it was halfway. <laughs> And it's halfway out of my mouth. No, the I lady's couldn't. like, I don't know if he was, if he had a bad day at work. And then I was like, I'm like, oh, I wish he would have been like, he doesn't work. It's like, <laughs> you, know that, you know, that reminded me. Piss him off even more. That, that reminded me of uh, like, like volleyball, the center. Like you just went like this, like with the ball, like, ting, and yeah. Like, or something like this. <laughs> He's a good dick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do that to, to Fuiz. All the, I, I literally say shit just to set him up to say something oh outrageous. Oh, God. He's the, and he's the best at that. I mean, Are you he, kidding me? Yeah. He's absurd he, with that stuff. He's, he, no, you can't talk shit to him. That's oh, what, you, you can't. You can't. Because you, you he'll just overwhelm you with whatever the fuck he's saying <laughs> with no interruptions. And, like, it, everything's just <laughs> so fluid. Um, but yeah, I, I, I set him up well with that. Yeah, I can't believe it. So she said that. She's like, I don't know if she, he had a bad day at work or what it was, but you know, he never waves at anybody. I'm thinking, I'm like, that's weird. Like, Baby, what did you say? She's like, oh, oh, he's, well, I'm sorry. And then she's like, yeah, but is he sorry? So now. Are you serious? Yeah. So it so, sounds like a, yeah. She, yeah, well, you like should definitely piece of not work. care about her. Yeah. Next time you see their dog, just. <laughs> 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 Jesus, Jacqueline. <laughs> I would never. I would never. No, I know that. I haven't gone outside, so I forget how to interact with <laughs> yeah, yeah. humans and stuff. No, it's not the dog's it's fault. It's a gaming That's thing. That's true. It's not the dog's fault. Spit on people. The other thing is, like, her husband and I were like, you know, we were having a little conversation. We are good. So, you know, oh, it poor was just, guy. It was just her, man. Poor guy, right? No, yeah. he's definitely that guy that's like, all right, honey, I'm going back down to the basement again. Yeah. <laughs> So no ba- and, she, and he's like, "Fuck! I'm in Texas. There's no basements. Kill me." <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's just like the Northeast. Yeah. So anyway, I don't remember saying that, but I sometimes don't remember. Don't know how yeah. I, I like. I have a loud voice, and sometimes I, I will. But I'm always very mindful to not be that guy. Yeah. You know, because all my friends are those guys. Oh, my well, it's whole- crazy because in my friend group, like you're that guy. Like you're that guy. You're the. Yeah. You're the guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't imagine what your friends are like. I'd probably just leave. Yeah, they're ass. No, they're not assholes, but they are louder. They're what they're they're what we call ghetto. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, yo, ch- ch- ghetto ass, shut the fuck up. You're fucking loud. He's like, don't fucking tell me I'm fucking loud. And then they say the n word. Like, don't tell me I'm fucking loud. Then I'll be like, damn. I'm like, dude, you just you keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so you at that point you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm a bad bro, my bad. You you will then apologize yeah. for trying to you know yeah, calm yeah. him down a little bit. It's like you, you got to be halfway sort of thing. Yeah. My, my whole my whole life is uh, when I was younger, especially, was, Jack, your voice, is a little bit loud. So like, I would be in a restaurant, I'll just be telling a story, and I'll get like so into it that next thing you know, I'm like half yelling. Yeah, and I'll always be told to quiet Ain't down. No yelling. I kind of have that problem, Nick. I know uh, you always. Whenever I, I just curse loudly, I'm oh, like, oh, in uh, public, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be in Target, and I'm like, you're like, what the fuck? fuck? And I'm just like. I'm just hey. like, damn. I, I it's crazy because you're never loud. You're only loud in public when you're cursing and you're not supposed to be. That's the only time you're ever loud. That or when you get kicked out of your apartment because you're streaming. But n- that n- no, no noise complaints yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I haven't got a noise complaint. Same. Same. I don't know how you haven't gotten a noise complaint. Anyway, um, for this last part of the podcast, we're gonna start. We're gonna start at this episode. We always say that we're going to answer questions like we used to back in the good old days. Except for back in the good old days, we used to do... What do we do? Um, Twitter moments, relationship advice. T- relationship advice. Why don't we, see, you, you know how I was just talking about how it pisses me off that some artists are, or some graffiti artists is like, man, I fuck, like, they're so good at something. They don't like you know whatever yeah i think i think that's the same way that i feel about the flycast and youtube because you two have found a podcast chemistry that you don't find so often the fact that you guys fucking skip it pisses me off because i don't have that you know that sort of podcast so it pisses me off that you guys do that you know um anyway uh we have uh the question (laughs) is i was gonna i was gonna go like this (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. Uh, anyway, uh, the question comes from a, a person by the name of Lewis Chambers. And the question is, and we'll go down the line, we'll start with Hitch, and then we'll, we'll, we'll all intervene and interject and interrupt as we always do. With so much of your careers based around gaming content, how often do you find time to play games that you don't make content on? Wow. I already know Jack's answer. Um, con- oh, wow. For me, I don't know. The, the only time I really play uh, anything without you know recording or streaming is if I'm like trying to practice, I guess, yeah. for something like Islands of Nine recently came out and I wanted to get really good at it. So, you know, I, I, I play, you know, I play a couple games off stream every once in a while. Uh, whenever I was testing out season five, like on Fortnite, I played like three games. I won. I won one of them. It was weird. Uh, and, you know, that's pretty much it. Every once in a while, the TST guys will get on and uh, I, I was just not, not in the mood to stream or something. So I, I, I'll play a few like games with them, but that's pretty much it. I don't think I ever. Yeah, I was about to say. I play <laughs> one game at a time, and that's all I do. I never venture off, really. I just get addicted to one thing, make content with it, whatever. But I don't really tap into other games. I used to do it much more. <clears throat> like, I would play League of Legends off stream. But my New Year's resolution for this year was to uninstall League. Haven't touched it since, and my friends from home still play that. But every night I have five or six of my friends that I grew up gaming with on pc that are in my discord so i'll just chill there and then two nights ago we played civ 6 for a couple nights uh which was a lot of fun uh, i played that off stream but 99 percent of the gaming that i do currently is on stream and it's fortnite i feel like i just can't enjoy a game unless it's like the most popular competitive like I feel like I need to know that everyone in the game is trying. Yeah. Yeah. I got into, I, I didn't get, um, I mentally got into an argument with somebody who said, uh, cause I asked about whether or not black blackout could, could be it's self standing esport out, outside of call of duty. Right. I said, obviously call of duty is an esport and, and it's competitive, but now that they're releasing a new mode, that's a battle Royale and battle Royale obviously has a ton of things that, that need to be done. Uh, before you, it can be considered an esport, but it is so competitive that how can you not? But it's is it full skill when you you know the the whole RNG the you know the, the everything about it right? Anyway, so I asked that and, and and that happened, and then one kid's like, well, no, because esports ruined it for casual gamers because now everybody tries their hardest, and I'm like, you got a participation award <laughs> just because you showed up to swing a fucking bat, whether you want or not. And that, and that is not what this incredible country was founded on, okay? <laughs> we are the best of the best for a fucking reason. Competition is good. Being told no is good. Failing is good. There's no way in any scenario that I don't make Olivia struggle in some, in some way, shape, or form. She's never going to get fucking handouts. That's for fucking sure. But that dude for sure got handouts. Just anyway, it pissed me off. Um, no, I'm, with you. I'm with you on that completely. Yeah. Anyway, so for me, I when I travel, I sometimes launch a lonely island and I play Minecraft uh, on the plane if I'm not sleeping. Uh, and I don't stream that. I, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite off stream with, with my villains brothers and with my with my friends from high school who I've never played video games with because all they do is play Madden and NBA and... You know, shit like that and FIFA, and I don't play that. So Fortnite is like the one game that we've always like came together to to play. So off stream, that's that's what I play. The only sports games I've genuinely enjoyed playing are the ones where you could do the dumbest crazy shit, like game NFL breakers. Blitz, Blitz, NBA I Street, love Blitz. Oh, yeah. play, playing as Raiden, <laughs> yeah, big heads, like all all like I only NFL like those Street. exaggerated, yeah, like the NFL Street, like NBA game Jam. breaker alley oops. He's heating up. Oh, he, NBA Jam. I played uh, uh Le- Lester Hokum. Yeah. In when when he came in, we had to come to New York for something. And we played in an arcade, and he bet me a Nintendo Switch. Like he was like, "If you beat me, I was like, what do I have to give you?'" He's like, "Nothing." I was like, "Okay, I'll play this." <laughs> he beat he beat me with he, a, he is bu- b- uh, g- a game winning three. He, he beat you, a, yeah, by three. Damn, he is a good person to bet because he pays. I, I, he I bet him. him. I, he I, works I for think, Google. I think. Well, no, this was way before he worked at Google. Oh. I think he he, <laughs> he bet me a thousand dollars that I couldn't make one of those. Those rings in a hook, yeah. you know those those bar games, the the ring and the hook, uh, and I did it. 
It's in slow motion. It's on Twitter somewhere. Uh, anyway, that's uh, you guys have any closing comments or, or is this good for the podcast? I thought we did okay. We complained about something. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. We talked about Fortnite for sure. Yeah. Uh, and we gave some insight as to that we probably triggered a lot of people, and they're not able to stand up for themselves. Yeah. So um, having typical, said that, pretty typical podcast. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something relating to that. Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, uh, there's an email listed on the in the in the in the what is the description? In yes. the Video description uh, where you can send in your questions. If you guys happen to get on the answer. podcast. Uh, congratulations. Okay, because there was like, you, it was one in like five questions. So it was uh, your the odds were in your favor, and may they forever be in your favor.